So out in front of me, I'm sure you can see the river going over what looks like a rapid. And it looks like it's maybe natural if you don't have a trained eye for these things. But what you're actually seeing is a fish wear that was created by the native people. We can't call them the Agawam. It was created thousands of years ago. The Agawam used it. They're the last native people to fish and hunt in these woods. But that fish wear was here when tension came in 1636. And it was used by the native people and later by the English colonists until dams south of us prevented the anadromous fish from getting to this point on the river. It's a really awesome thing and it hasn't been marked by state archaeologists, which I find to be crazy because it is utterly clear what we're looking at here. And, you know, it's kind of in a hard to access spot. Um, Although, if you know Robinson State Park, I'm standing in it right now, so you can find it. It's just about looking at it with an eye toward the past. So you have the spot, if you go out there, and I've been out there, piles of boulders and rocks that form a V. And what that does is when the river's high, as it is right now, it creates current eddies on the top sides of the Vs. So in the spring, the native people, when this thing is, you know, fully fixed up, as it would have been, they can spear the fish, club the fish, net the fish as they're moving up. And if you've ever watched shad and salmon and herring migrate, they go from soft spot to soft spot. They don't like to stay out in the heart of the current. They move in and around the rocks and get behind the soft current of the rock and then make another run when they recover their energy. And that's what this is doing. It's providing an opportunity for these fish to take shelter. Of course, there's native people standing on the jetty formed by the fish wear, netting, spearing, clubbing, whatever. From this position, you can really see the point of the V right here. And that point becomes really important as the river goes down fish have come up the river, they've spawned, they are coming back down the river and at that point native people leave a current corridor and that's where they can put fish traps usually made of wicker, sticks, twigs, etc. fashioned into a sort of a basket with the small end down current and they're able to get massive hauls of herring especially in that particular portion of the wear. Although, I'm not saying they're not getting their share of salmon and shad too. But this is a really neat view that you're getting of a fish weir that, again, hasn't been marked and is really at this point undiscovered by archaeology. Were it, they might clear off the bank that I'm standing on. we got all this invasive burning bush here and they get rid of that and put a couple picnic tables up here so people can uh, look out there and see a little bit of history or a little bit more than a little bit of history. Mark the site for what it is. So we got a beautiful sun going down behind me here in November and out in front of me here I'm up above the fish wear now and you can see again the current going both north and south interrupted by the boulders that have been stacked out there. This is a nice view of it. And it would be really nice to see this area integrated into the park a little bit more and actually marked so people know what they're looking at. Um, I was talking to a guy as I was walking in. He said, you going fishing over there? Because I have my fly rods with me. And yeah, I do that. But not today. Today I was out here just basically getting video um, for my, uh, what I like to call field trips. So if you're anywhere in this area and you make a trip into Robinson State Park and work your way up to the west end of the park, you'll be able to find this. And it's definitely cool. In the summertime, it's much shallower. You can wade right out there and enjoy it, look at it, investigate it. Maybe you'll find an arrowhead. I'm not going to tell you not to look. I'm not going to say I haven't looked either. But this area has been... The home to people that have been fishing for 
thousands of years. And as I walk up on the bank here, I imagine on this high ground we might have had uh, encampments and fish drying stations and all kinds of stuff. Meanwhile, on the other side of the river, you can see the railroad, the Western Railroad, that was established from Boston to Albany back in the six, uh, 16, back in the 1830s. And that's its own bit of history that I'm going to highlight one of these days. But when that railroad came through, it pretty much cut the river off from the people of West Springfield for much of its length. So people from West Springfield don't often get down here, other than kids that are willing to get out in the woods and hoof it. Um, really, really pristine area because of that. And very special. Filled with wildlife of all kinds. And you know me, I'm looking for mushrooms right now as I am speaking. A lot of, a lot of oaks. That means hen of the woods.